Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying rational algebra expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So meron ako dito sa dalawang, dalawang examples na kung saan we will try to multiply these expressions and sana throughout this video, makuha niyo yung technique at ma-master niyo somehow yung topic na pag-multiply ng rational algebra expressions. So let's move on with number one. We have 7 over 2x cubed times x squared over 21. So dito, ang rule naman natin, parang ano lang siya, same na siya ng multiplying fractions. Let's say for example, meron tayong 1 half times 2 thirds. So ang rule natin sa multiplying fractions, simple review lang tayo. Ha? We will multiply the numerators tapos yung ating denominator. In which 1 times 2, this will give us 2 over your denominator, 2 times 3, which is 6. And then basic rules sa, sa mismo fractions, always simplify your answer and this will give us 1 over 3. So ngayon, i-apply natin yung konsepto nito. Okay? Tapos, papakita ko sa inyo an alternative way kung paano pa i-multiply yung mismong fraction, yung mismong REE natin. So, we will try the conventional way in which we will multiply our numerators 7 times x squared. This will give us 7x squared. Okay? Over your denominator 2 times 21, that is 42, and then x cubed. Now, na-multiply na natin yung numerator Tapos yung denominators natin. Ang target na natin dito is to express our final answer in lowest terms. So meron tayo ngayon dito 7 over 42 in which kung mapapansin nyo, kung fraction yan, uh, it will give us 1 over 6. Pero meron ka pang, meron ka pang variables dito. So ang mga dito, dito guys, yung x squared natin over x cubed, ang matitira na lang dyan ay x. So, may, ang simple answer natin or final answer natin for number 1 is simply 1 over 6x. Ito yung conventional way na ginagawa natin. Pero, syempre, tutulong ko sa inyo another way para malesen yung, yung time ng pag-solve natin, lalo na na pag meron kayong examinations. So, let's proceed with method number 2. For method number 2, ang ginagawa ko guys, kapag ako yung multiply ng rational algebraic expressions, Ino-observe ko muna yung given RAE, lalo na yung numerator, pati yung denominator niya. Look, we have here 7, tapos 21. Kung meron kang 7 over 21, makakapag-simplify ka. And that will give you 1 over 3. So, pwede natin yung gawin dito. Magka-cancel yun agad tayo. Dito, if we have here 7, this will become 1. Tapos yung 21 natin, this will become 3. Kasi meron silang greatest common factor na 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 21 divided by 7, that is 3. Tapos, puntahan naman natin ito. Meron silang parehas na variable x. In which, we can cancel out x squared. Tapos itong x cubed natin ay magiging x na lang. So, mapansin nyo, ang natin na lang dito ay 1. 1 times 1, that is 1 over 2x, again 2x times 3, that is 6x. Ngayon, nasayin nyo na yan kung anong method ang gusto niyo. Is it the conventional way o yung may cancellation method para mas maging mababa yung mga numbers at even yung exponent ang ating variables. Okay, ganyan lang kasi yung number 1 natin. Now let's proceed with number 2. So number 2, diretso na tayo sa second method natin. Pero we will incorporate here factoring. Number 2, we have x squared minus 4 over 2 minus 4 over x minus 2. Ngayon, yung numerator natin is a difference of 2 squares in which we can factor out this one bilang x minus 2 and then x plus 2. Factored form siya over 2 times 4 over x minus 2. So, gamitin natin yung second method natin dito. Kung mapansin nyo, may common x minus 2 and x minus 2. Cancel out natin ito. Tapos, meron pa. Yung, four, yung 2 and 4 natin, meron silang GCF na 2. 
So we can cancel out 2, magiging 1 na lang siya. At itong 4 natin ay magiging 2. And what will remain here, i-multiply natin. Meron tayong 2 times x plus 2 over 1 times 1. So meron tayong 1 dito ngayon. So mawawala na yan guys, mawawala na yan. And by distributive property, we can have the product of 2x plus 4. This is the final answer for item number 2. You know guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa ating tutorial video on how to multiply rational algebra expression. Abangan niyo yung next video natin in which ang target naman natin is kung paano ba mag-divide ng rational algebra expressions. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!